this video we're going to go over what's needed, how to set it up, and a little bit of troubleshooting. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up your TV box and your hearing aids. And hopefully this helps you with troubleshooting, just kind of knowing the process. Okay, so first you will need to make sure that you have everything you need. You'll need your hearing aids, you'll need the TV box and the supplies, and a television. Let's do this. First, let's decide what kind of plug you're going to use, whether you're going to use the auxiliary plug or whether you're going to use a toss link. You want to look on the back of your TV to decide. You'll want to look on the back of your TV or on the side of your sound bar, wherever the audio out connection is. That's how you're going to determine which cable you need. So I could use either aux or if you look closely, I could also use the optical out, which is the toss link. Okay, once you've chosen the appropriate audio cable for your TV and you've got it connected to the box and you have the power plugged in, you'll notice there's some lights on the front of the box. Next good tip would be at this point is to see what these lights mean so you kind of know which step to take next. So you would want to refer to your user manual. If you don't have a copy of your user manual, just do a quick search on the internet for user guide for your TV box. Again, as we saw in the user guide, those two blue lights mean that it's not connected to the hearing aid yet. So these blue lights again right here will save you a world of headache just to know what they mean. Um, so next would be setting up and pairing the hearing aids. If your hearing aids are Bluetooth, the next crucial step is pairing the hearing aids to the TV box. So what you have to do is you have to power on the hearing aids and it gives you three minutes to pair with the device you're trying to connect them to. So in this case, I'll set them on top. That's all you have to do for this style. And this light you watch, and this light will change color once they're paired automatically. And see how it went solid? So now we know that that part is complete. One quick caveat as far as powering the hearing aids, if yours are rechargeable, what you'll have to do is turn them off and back on. And the easiest way is to just set them on the charger for a minute, take them off, and then you have those three minutes to put them on top of the box to get them paired with the TV box. After pairing my hearing aids and taking them, taking them off the box, the light shows red on one side and no color on the other side. So I would just need to figure out next what that means. After referring to the user manual again, I realized that the red light meant it was powered on but it was not streaming. And now, as you can see, I have green lights, but a green blinking light. So now it just means that it's not streaming. So you want to make sure that you have your TV hooked up. If you see a specific color, refer to your user manual again, and then you'll know how to resolve those particular issues. And the last thing we'll need to know is how to actually put the hearing aids into streaming mode. Okay, so once you're set up and ready to watch TV, there's two ways to access the TV program to connect your hearing aids to the TV box. One is with the hearing aid itself, there's a button on the hearing aid. The other one is if you have the app downloaded, you just select the actual TV program or the hearing aid program designed to connect you to the TV box and it'll automatically set the signal. Well, I hope the process was pretty straightforward, but here's some one-on-one -on -one troubleshooting. Um, first, you'll wanna check the connections Make sure the hearing aids are paired. Again, that little light on there, make sure to check that. And ensure that the hearing aids are in stream mode. And if all else fails, just reach out to your provider. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you at least found it helpful. We're gonna to put together some other videos, so keep your eye out and look forward to seeing you in the future. Bye-bye.